Well, I'm back again. I wasn't actually going to do a video on this, but because the bluey and the squid wraps was so popular and people seemed to love it, I thought I'd do you one on squid and black lug wraps, just like that. Show you how I do my baits. These are deadly cod baits. So, I'll get the other bits in the camera now and start wrapping some bait and show you what I do. Got hooker squid, like I used last time. It is actually really good quality bait. I've never had an issue with it, like I said in my last video. And, something new. I brought a pump from a bloke called Dave, I think his name was. DS Bait Pumps. I've never pumped lug ever in my life. I went out earlier today and I managed to pump worms. And I come back with 37 worms. I'll show you them now. There's a mixture of black lug and yellow tails. So what I've decided to do, rather than wrap and freeze down the lug tonight, I'm going to pre-prepare the baits with squid and black lug then freeze it down it's ready to go when I hit the beach on that next session so I'll show you now how I would do my black lug and squid wraps you get your bait you can have the head on or head off it is totally your choice what I'll do is fold the squid head back down the bait so you got that I'll hold it in my hand hopefully you can see this like that I get my lug I lay them across the top of the squid, just like this. Tell you what, I'll do this one quite, quite chunky, <laughs> as I did in my last video. Some of the messages I had about the size of the baits, people were saying you're fishing for sharks, mate, and that sort of stuff. Honestly, though, it does work for cod. It's scent you want, innit? You're fishing in churned up coloured water, and the more scent that's in that water, the better. Right, well, as you can see here, I'm laying them across the squid, like this. It is fiddly, this is, but yeah, you lay them across like that. Don't squeeze it hard, because you struggle to hold them. If you squeeze it hard, look, they'll pop out of place. So try and hold it as gently as possible. Get it all in line, and let gravity dangle them down, just like that. I'll try my new bait elastic thing. This is an Anova bait elastic holder I've never used one we'll give it a test now right get them dangling down get your elastic this elastic binder is meant to be pre-tensioned so I'm not touching the elastic just the binder I'm going around it I get about halfway look and now I get about halfway and I flip the bait round that way I hold the elastic with my thumb and I go back the other way. I like to wrap away from myself. I actually don't think this pre-tensions the elastic enough. I like it a bit tighter. So I'll just hold it in my f finger and thumb there. But as you can see, go around the bait. Like this. You can see now I've got worms dangling off the end of the squid. What I'll do is, is fold these back up the bait. And go around those as well. I'm hoping you got a good view there, it's quite difficult to get the angle on this in the video. I'm pretty sure you're getting the idea of what I'm doing. Back up the bait. And these are fresh black lug and yellow tail lug. I have already prepared quite a few baits. But I've never done this before, so hopefully it works out. I'll take the head off this squid. And there you go. This elastic's a little bit thick for my liking, but it's what comes in the pack. You get three elastics. But there's the bait, done. I'll show you another one down here. I'll just like that look. These are deadly cod baits. Look, like, absolutely deadly. I won't use any seagull on these, they go out as they are. They don't need it. Well, to be honest, I don't know how good the sea the solent seagull is. I'm gonna try and fish this season now, through this winter without it. See if my catch rate drops or see if it's any different. So yeah, that's the baits. I'm not going to sit here and wrap another one because you've seen how I've done it. But you can see there, look. It looks quite good. Baits this big, you can cut in half and use them a bit smaller if you wanted to. So, I'll do what I did last time now. Get them all in this bag. I'll add a bit of this juice that's in here, which is off the black lug, the blood and stuff. 
and get them back in this bag like last time. Right, another one, do this one quickly. If you want to keep the squid ahead on, elasticate it a little bit first before you bring the lug in. Because it is all quite slippy and difficult to hold everything. Don't go crazy on it, just a bit, just to hold it in place. Just like that. Then I'll get the bait like this. And I'll lay the lug on top. Basically like that. Now oh, that's one tip I've got for you. This seems a bit extreme, but see you've got your bait there and it's a bit soft, the black lug. Throw it down on a stone, I'll show you now. I don't know if you can see that down there. It's just stiffened up look completely, it's gone like really, really stiff. So it's a lot easier to thread the rod through your baiting needle to get it onto the baiting needle if you're doing it that way. But you can see the difference in them. Look how limp that lug is there. If I throw it down now. It's just stiffened up. So, there's another tip for you. So you got them. They're amazing black lug. They're a bit small, but you can just double them up or use three or four. Let's see, doing this down the beach on them winter nights when it's windy and raining and your hands are like ice blocks, you, this is just, it seems like a no-brainer doing this at home, to be honest. It really does. Normally you're there, fishing away, you get a bite, you hit that bite and there's no fish at the end of it, you bring it in and you're dreading baiting up because your hands get that cold. So I'm hoping this way it's going to save a lot of that this year and it'll be simple, bring it in, chuck it on and cast back out. It's just going to save me a lot of time hopefully, give me more fishing time. But this is an awkward bait to hold together and wrap. As you can see, we'll get there now. That's what I mean now, you imagine me being down the beach, numb fingers trying to wrap this. You can't feel the elastic, you can't feel the bait properly because your hands are that flipping cold. Right, that's it, there we go. I've got it now. And you don't want to go seriously tight with your elastic when you're doing this, because you will just split the worms. The elastic's there just to help hold it on. I do go heavy on my elastic, which I said in my last video, some people say you shouldn't, but I can't see elastic pulling the fish off. It just makes sure your bait stays on and keeps it together. And especially in the warmer time of the year, you get a lot of crabs, and the elastic does stop and pick in the bait so quick. What are the dangly bits at the end? I'm just going to fold them back. Any cod anglers out there watching this, I love these baits. And the amount of juice dripping out of here is just perfect. If the conditions was right right now, I wouldn't be on the camera doing this, I'd be out there fishing. But the wind stopped, the sea's gone flat calm, the water's going clear. So it's not really the best conditions right now. Not round here anyway. And the tides are big as well. We've got the spring tides of the month. Right, there you go. Another nice big cod bait. It's juicy as well. Look at the state of my hands. But yeah, these baits. You could even portion these. You could cut these in half and it'll still be a nice bait. So, that's potentially what I might do. If I start hitting into the cod, I'll just chop them in half and use half of it. So, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you picked up a few tips and I hope it helps you catch more fish on the beach. If you prepare your baits at home, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what baits you do prepare and let me know if it's helped you out. It's new to me. I've never done this at home before. It's going to be interesting. I can see you being an amazing idea, getting all this prepped at home and there's just no hassle then down the beach. But let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you personally think it's a bad idea? If you do, let me know why you think it's bad. it would be good to know. We're all here to help each other out. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you can, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.